Hi, I'm Donald McIntyre, Senior Editor of the ETC Cooperative. This is the ETC Proof of Work course, Class 21. If it's not Proof of Work, then it's not a blockchain. In the previous Class 20, we talked about integrating BitGold into Ethereum Classic ETC to dispel any doubts that the money is sound. BitGold was the original idea that eventually gave rise to Bitcoin. BitGold are the block hashes buried in the blocks that are not used as money, but as a protection wall. In this class 21, we will explain that if a cryptocurrency network is not proof of work, POW, then it is not a blockchain. A batch of data that is hashed with no work is insecure. A batch of data that is hashed with proof of work is secure. Proof of stake POS and proof of authority POA networks are made of cardboard. Proof of work blockchains are made of bit gold. A batch, a data batch. In computer science, a selection of records from a set of data is called a batch. A batch is simply information and in the internet, information is easy to produce, replicate and modify. In traditional systems, batches of data are protected from unwanted production, um, replication and modification by isolating them, keeping them in proprietary servers and making access by intruders difficult with cryptography. However, in decentralized public blockchains where the ledger is unencrypted, transparent and accessible by anyone, there is nothing protecting the batches of data that contain new transactions and smart contracts. This is why proof of work was used on blockchains to protect these batches. A data block. When a batch of transactions in a proof of work blockchain is grouped and then sealed with a proof of work stamp or hash, then it may be called a block. This is because now the batch of data is secure. The way this works is that miners in proof of work blockchains constantly receive, receive new transactions and group them in batches. When they do this, they add to the batches the cryptographic stamp of the previous block, a timestamp, and a random number called a nonce. When they have this packet of information ready, then they do a lot of computational work to produce the hash or stamp for the packet or batch of data. When this hash or stamp is produced and added to the, pack to the packet of data, then that batch is a block proper. So now the question is, why is a proof of work block secure? Block security features. If a batch of data is not sealed with proof of work, then it remains just an unprotected batch of transactions. It is more or less like having a pallet of apples in a port laid on the concrete waiting to be loaded into a container. The pallet of apples is like a batch of data. It is exposed to people and the environment and the apples will go bad or be stolen unless they are moved into a container and secured with a strong lock. In the same way, sealed blocks in, with cryptographic stamps or hashes are protected because the only way to modify them is by redoing all the work again. This is the key to data security in blockchains, that even if all the blocks of, a, of data are exposed to the public, they are extremely difficult to tamper with because the only way of modifying them is by accumulating an enormous computing base while spending an enormous amount of money in electricity to do so. Proof of stake and proof of authority blocks are made of cardboard. Batches of data that are not sealed and that are uh, uh, that required no work to be built can be can easily be rehashed with no effort. We call these types of blocks as if made with cardboard. In proof of stake and proof of authority, proof of authority networks, the stakers or node operators can get the data and change it as they will very easily. They can go to the Genesis block and redo the whole blockchain with very little effort. This is a very vulnerable position for a blockchain. As, as these kinds of networks have staking elites or trusted nodes, such as banks in the case of some proof of authority systems, they can easily be captured by, government or by governments or interest groups and be managed as traditional systems with censorship KYC and AML controls and restrictions based on politics. Proof of work blocks are made of bit gold. As we said before, the blocks made with work are very costly to rehash or tamper with because 
all the work must be done all over again. The stamps require a lot of work, very much as gold requires a lot of work to be extracted from nature. This is why we say that blocks made with work are made of bit gold. This makes them extremely difficult to falsify. Both are batches of data, but blocks are the ones that, are ha that were hashed with extra work, so it would be very costly to change them arbitrarily. Blockchains are only those that use proof of work. The person to name the batches of data blocks in the first cryptocurrency network was the creator of Bitcoin and inventor of the whole system, Satoshi Nakamoto. In the Bitcoin white paper, he made an analogy of blocks of information stamped in a, in a timestamp server with blocks of information hashed with proof of work and he named them and he named them blocks. To our knowledge, this was the first time this kind of data batches were named blocks. It is possible that Mr. Nakamoto used this term because similar to a block of concrete or just because its strong sound or just because of its strong sound onomatopoeically, it fit the description he wanted to give to the proof of work stamp blocks in Bitcoin. All other systems that do not use proof of work are not blockchains because their batches of information are not secured by work and their technologies are truly archaic. Thank you for watching this video, ETC proof of work course, class 21. If it's not proof of work, then it's not a blockchain. It, to, to learn more about Ethereum Classic, please go to ethereumclassic.org. Thank you very much.